What's up guys, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and today I've got a continuation of my ongoing Minecraft server setup series. So in my previous few videos I've shown you setting up a Minecraft server, running a Minecraft server, etc, etc. However, one thing that I haven't gone through is updating your Minecraft server. So whether you're updating from one version to another, or one snapshot version to another snapshot version, or from a main version to a snapshot version, it's actually rather simple to do. And if you're downgrading the server, it's basically the exact same process that I'm going to show you in today's video. Just note that if you are downgrading, if some blocks were added since the previous one's release, then you may go ahead and get some corruptions in your world. Some blocks may just vanish entirely, etc. But either way, avoiding that, how do we go ahead and update our existing Minecraft server? Well, over here, I've got a snapshot folder. If I go ahead and run run.bat, then the server will go ahead and start up. And you can see that it's version 20w07a. If we have a look at the Minecraft launcher, head across to installations at the top left, we can go and create a new installation. Otherwise, we can find it on the list over here. I'll go ahead and create a new one. Then we'll look for version and we'll go ahead and select the Minecraft version that we want to move our server to. So you can choose an official release or a snapshot release. So I'll be updating from 20w07a to 20w12a. So I'll select that version and just above this bar, I'll go ahead and click server. This will go ahead and open up my browser and it will download a server.jar file. Right now we can go ahead and close the browser once it's done downloading and we can go ahead and minimize our Minecraft launcher and we have the server window over here. So assuming your server is already running, we need to go ahead and save it and stop it before we go ahead and replace the jar file. So I'll go ahead and type stop, which will save the entire world and stop the server entirely. Once it's done, we'll see the server files over here. Of course, if you don't, you'll have to navigate to where you have them. Then I'll go ahead and open up my downloads folder. And as you can see, I have server one.jar, which is the nearest 20w12a. So of course, this might be named something different. I'll call it 12a. I'll go ahead and drag and drop it into our server folder over here. As you can see, we have a server.jar, which is the older version, and we have a server12a.jar, and this is the newest version. Of course, if you don't see the .jar afterwards, then we'll head across to view at the very top, and we'll make sure file name extensions is checked. Then we'll go ahead and right click at run.bat, server.bat, or whatever you've called it, and we'll click edit. Then once you see this window pop up over here, you'll look for hyphen jar space the jar file's name. So this one over here in the file is server.jar. This server.jar is our old version. Our new one is server-12a.jar. So there's two things we can do at this point. Number one, we can go ahead and delete the old version and rename the new.jar so that matches the one inside of this file. Or we can go ahead and edit the run.bat itself and type in the new name. Once that's done, we can hit Control S to save it, close it, and we can open up run.bat. Then you can see Microsoft Server version 20w12a. So we've gone ahead and we've successfully updated it. Now, of course, if you're moving from a main version to a snapshot, this should work flawlessly. And especially if you're upgrading from one version to the next, sticking to the snapshot branch or the main branch. And if you want it sometime in the future, for whatever reason, you can always go ahead and edit the run.bat and replace this with your old server name and go down a version. In fact, I'll even show you that right now. I'll type stop to save the server. I'll go ahead and edit run.bat and I'll remove the hyphen 12a, save it and run it. So basically I've just gone ahead and downgraded my server from 20w12a, as you can see, back to 20w7a. And that is really how simple it is. Of course, you can delete the extra .jar files in here if you don't want to keep the older versions. And if you replace the old one, then hey, there's nothing left to do. Anyway, that's about it. Thank you all for watching. My name is Ben Sekner, here for Troubleshoot. Hopefully this video helped you, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.